Hi, everybody. I just saw a video by somebody I subscribed to uh, on YouTube, and I wanted to make a video myself real quick. Made a couple posts on my other social media accounts, and I just want to talk about money real quick. Uh, one of the big stories going around right now is this FTX uh, bankruptcy, how there was so much fervor around uh, crypto and this guy, Sam, who is now revealed to most likely, I don't want to indict somebody that I don't know too much about, but most likely a fraud. Um, and I think it just, it begs to be said and the conversation to be had uh, where we are in society in the 21st century around money, the idea of money and the way that money is used in the global economy. It's clear that there are different class of people. Uh, you don't have to be in India in the caste system to recognize that with respect to money. So there's folks who work and don't make enough to survive, the, the underclass, if you will, the homeless, uh, and, and, and that ilk. You have the working class, those that work and make enough to survive. Um, and then you have the investor class, the owner class, the, the upper class, the, the, uh, the, the political class. Um, in a honest society, in a society that is uh, growing towards uh, a shared vision, um, in a society that is facing um, agreed upon threat and and responding to that threat in kind, like during the, the world wars and so forth, you have the alignment of these different classes of people with respect to their relationship to money. Right now, we're not seeing that. We're seeing that uh, not only are these different classes not aligned in their goals, but we're seeing uh, real decadence, uh, excess, and uh, for lack of a better word, sin um, in the part of the, the upper class, the investment class, the, the, the ruling class. This is the post that I made on uh, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. I'll just read it really quick so you can get my thoughts, but then I'll kind of riff off of it. And that is uh, Enron, Theranos. Bernie Madoff, FTX, Pyramid Schemes, Ponzi Schemes, Fractional Reserve Banking, Naked Short Selling, Failure to Deliver Equities, Derivatives Trading on Margin, Mortgage-Backed Securities, Government Lobbying by Privately Owned Financial Institutions, Regulators Collaborating with Market Makers, Offshore Accounts, the list goes on and on. Rome didn't fall in a day. It was lost to an age of excesses and decadence. Guess where we are in the timeline of the current world order? And yet, the answer to all this insanity is simple. Work hard and produce value in your personal products or service. Live within your means and build a good life for yourself and your family. Do not give in to the sins of greed or gluttony. Because our entire global system is under siege by leeches. Bad actors within the financial investor class are playing with fire by gambling away the future livelihood of the entire global economy. Let's hope the world can come to its senses. So that was my little post on my social media accounts. I'm inspired by what's going on, reading about FTX and uh, paying attention to subreddits like Superstonk uh, and Wall Street Bets before it got kind of taken over by shills. And, um, you know, living my life as, as a paramedic and a ski instructor and a swim instructor, you know, and how, how small and, and um, not uh, complicated that is while simultaneously hearing about uh, over leveraged Wall Street bankers and how when you kind of spend some time thinking about this stuff, you realize that the mental capital of our country, you know, the graduates of the most prestigious universities are statistically by and large going to finance and, you know, law 
and and I don't mean, I don't mean to you know paint with such a broad brush, but for by and large, uh, commit fraud, are involved in crony capitalism, make the rules to profit themselves and their business partners, um, and you know if you look at Citadel and uh, Robin Hood, uh, these market makers, um, they don't produce any value in the world. They, they, they siphon value from the backs of the working class, uh, by seller boxing companies like Sears and Radio Shack and Toys R Us into bankruptcy while short selling them into oblivion. And I think it's an interesting time in you know the space that we're in to recognize that there's a real divergence of the values and goals of the investor class the ownership class the ruling class and the working class and there's a heck of a lot more of the working class than there is of the ownership class and i think the 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 man behind the curtain so to speak he's a wizard of oz reference is now being shown to, you know, to mix my metaphors, to be wearing no clothes, um, mm. because we saw it in 2008. We're seeing it again in 2020. These, you know, billionaires that we're all meant to look up to and and you know emulate and think are so smart are really just liars and cheats, and they're not producing anything of value. They merely. Uh, are deal makers with derivatives and options that are just made up products. Um, and it's really kind of frustrating um, when, you know, you go to work every day and you punch a clock. Th these people do not go to work every day and punch a clock. Um, these people make capital and then allow that capital to have a life of its own. So this video is just, my little rant about money and that, you know, it's good to, to have a healthy level of cynicism and skepticism when you look at those who have more than you. Um, it's not always that those in high places got there by virtue and hard work. Even though I'm sympathetic to somebody like uh, Jordan Peterson and his, his uh, worldview, uh, you know, there are competencies of, of tyranny, um, whether it's overt physical tyranny or financial manipulation and, uh, you know, competencies of, of influence, rather hierarchies of influence. Um, I do think that the government and the financial sector are so opaque, that is to say, so far from being transparent. Uh, all you got to do is look at terms and conditions in the corporate world to realize that the real rules uh, and, and the way that money moves between advertisers, um, and, you know, between insurance companies, between regulators, and, and again, financial institutions, it, you know, when you take a look at that whole ecosystem, you realize that the working class is getting screwed. And that's just the way it is. And to be aware of that is a healthy thing. And hopefully uh, we can come back to our senses and at least slow down the acceleration of the amount of financial fraud going on in this world. And I think the way that that happens is we stop idolizing riches and start coming back to the value of honesty, integrity, hard work, uh, humility, and these things that fly in the face of, you know, people putting billions of derivatives profits in an offshore account in the Bahamas, you know? So anyway, that's my thoughts. Uh, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I haven't posted in a while. I was just really motivated to share this video, um, seeing all this stuff, uh, about FTX just kind of makes me scoff. Uh, you look at Bernie Madoff, you look at, um, Theranos, you look at, uh, you know, the Ponzi schemes and the and the pyramid schemes that keep happening. And I think it just, it points to everybody wants to be rich, but nobody wants to work. Um, 
And I think if we can face that, that value set within ourselves, we can kind of short circuit this, uh, this, um, this situation that results in uh, people looking at money as, as an inherent good, as opposed to a means to an end. Um, and uh, hopefully we can have a brighter tomorrow. So anyway, I hope that wasn't too winding of a, of a diatribe for you. Uh, appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so much. Love you guys. And uh, I will hopefully, and God willing, put out some more videos to come here soon. So thank you guys. Bye-bye.